You're watching The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa. It's not what you're up against and how you respond to it that makes the difference. Today I'm going to be talking about our oppressive bank charges. At a time when there is huge unemployment and a really struggling economy, we hear that instead of Nigerian banks also feeling the pinch, they are making massive profits at our expense through oppressive bank charges. Though customers have expressed considerable concern regarding these charges, nothing seems to be done about the ridiculous charges or the abysmal service we experience each day. For those that are not aware, the current existing bank charges include ATM card maintenance charge, which attracts over 50 naira monthly from millions of customers. We also have the account maintenance fees, which vary with the volume of transactions, while SMS notification fee of about 200 naira per month and multiple token maintenance fees are charged on tens of millions of customers' accounts. As if those weren't bad enough, in January 2016, the Central Bank of Nigeria directed that banks deduct 50 naira stamp duty on every 1,000 naira and above deposit made into current accounts as an avenue to increase government revenue. We also can't forget the 60 naira, which is automatically deducted after three ATM transactions from another bank. And just this week, the CBN announced that individual cash deposits of 500,000 naira and above will attract a 2% processing fee, and corporate deposits of 3 million naira and above will attract a 3% charge. Nigerian banks still act as if they are doing us a favor keeping our money with them. The service is so shoddy, often delaying bank transfers or even debiting us twice on a single transaction. They never ever reverse their mistakes within 24 hours, even though the law says that they should. In fact, we should be lucky if we get a reversal within a week. No penalties are ever levied against them for the distress and inconvenience they regularly cause their customers. Bank managers often don't even have a clue about managing accounts. You only get to see them when they come looking for your deposit. Our banks are pretty much pointless. They just act as expensive piggy banks. They offer loans at exorbitant interest rates and you can pretty much forget about mortgages. Yeah, well I have anyway. I'm beyond sick of the way Nigerian banks treat their customers, oppressing us with unexplainable high charges accompanied with terrible service. I, for one, will be starting a petition directed at the CBN. If you are as aggrieved as I am, then feel free to sign my petition, because enough is enough. Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. I'm signing. I'm signing. Thank you. I have contempt for uh, Nigerian banks. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, they're not banks. They are, they, like you said, they're, they're just piggy banks. That's it. They have no credit facilities that make sense. They cannot extend credit to those who need it. They come out talking about, we're going to help the agricultural sector mm. and nothing will happen. We're going to help SMEs, they set up all sorts of things, nothing is going to happen. All they know is charges. The 500,000 charge and the 3 million Naira deposit charges, which uh, CBN has just okayed, mm. which is another joke because while you're talking about the banks, I hope we know that the CBN is one of them in, this, in, in a way. <laughs> the bank. CBN is also a joke. Mm. The whole banking system in this country is a joke. Wow. If, and <laughs> what, what we've got, yeah, what we've got is serious. a whole, <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got a whole lot of people making money on our money and mm -hmm. doing nothing for it. So when you see your bank managing director looking very suave and well-dressed and, and fly whatever, on flying jets. on private jets and so on, just know that he has not done enough work to warrant what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And that's a fact. Okay. And, yes, and while I might say that there are engineers who do their work as engineers properly, because I can see very tall buildings standing, I can see what mechanics do to our cars <laughs> lot, some of the time, I can't see what a bank managing director does. I can't. Uh, please, wow, please, uh, wow. Malaho. I almost I want Malaho to talk. Oh. It should have been. Can, can, I, can, can I? Yeah, 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 yeah because But I want Malaho, if you don't mind, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm keeping brief. Yes, please. He is in the banking sector, so I yes. wanted somebody who can Good explain chair. something. Yeah. Um, I, I don't <laughs> think it's as start. bad as Duke has <laughs> expressed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're still providing a huge service. Otherwise, in spite of all these charges, we will not go knocking their doors. It's by force. 
Yes, no. It's but not by force. No, it's by force. Well, what am I going to do with my money? That's it. You keep it under your pillow. Transfers. Exactly. I, no, I can't keep it under my pillow. That's the problem. To people. So you, you do it. <laughs> Sorry, not you. The banks. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm, you see, I'm about to attack. <laughs> we need to look at it okay. from the perspective that there is a business. Mm -hmm. One, right. because it is a business, there is a goal to make money. Mm -hmm. Then it doesn't stand on its own. It's a microcosm of the larger society. So you're not going to have a situation in which what is happening in other parts of the economy, they are shielded from it. And one of the main problems in this country today is the cost of doing business. Yeah, that's true. Yes. So where, as their own costs go up, as, as the costs go up, they need to pass it on to somebody. No problem. Otherwise, they're going to be out of business. Mm -hmm. I will pick on the, specifically on the um, deposits, uh, the charges on deposit. Mm -hmm. The way it has been reported in the newspaper over the last uh, couple of days was as if we're just having it for the first time. No, well, I'm aware that we it, tried this before. Yeah, we tried it for mm -hmm. two or three years. Mm -hmm. right. And then at the point in time, we backed out of it. Mm -hmm. And here is the logic. In the first instance, why do you want to carry 500,000 Naira cash to go and deposit? We must be asking ourselves this. One of the problems I had in my early days when I lived in the United States was when I write check for $5, when I'm writing the words, I'll put 1000 behind it, and the check will be returned. I wrote $5, but in words, you put 5000 Because where I was coming from, we don't write $5 check. <laughs> okay. You know, and in those kind of environment, you can have 10 people, and you won't have somebody who can produce a $50. If somebody produces a $50 note, most likely it's a Nigerian. Mm. Yeah. So the cash and carry financial environment that we're wrong is inefficient. Mm -hmm. We must move away from the cash and carry. And if you don't, uh, um, because it's, it's a two-edged sword now, mm. the, the CBN is saying, come on to the platform like POS, we will lower what used to be the charges. They've lowered it a little bit now. Um, instead of 0 0.75, it's now 0 0.5 with a cap of 1,000. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, leave that cash casting. Pay with your card. Let me encourage you to come onto that platform. And by that, by, by so doing, you will lower the cost. Cost of cash processing is huge, both for the bank, even for the CBN. Can I come in so here? Yes. Yes. Very quickly. Okay, but say you say you. Let's say you say you. I have, I have, I have, I have mm -hmm. a lot, a lot. Uh, for <laughs> the banks, honestly, I believe... Um, there, there's a whole lot that the banks could do. Mm. Um, I sympathize with the bank because one, there's um, lack of data for most people. So security is Even higher identity. for them. Yeah, right. In the other clients that you're talking about, you know, they have details. They have your NI number so or social security. They can, yeah, they know you can't go anywhere. Lateral. They can stop. Once you default, wherever you go, you probably can't even buy anything from a supermarket, here is difficult. Mm -hmm. We understand that. But our banks are not creative. They, right. they want cheap money. They want mm -hmm. to get big money from banks or Dangote or somebody. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to understand. How many banks have taken time to understand dynamics of business? Thank you. To even understand that, look, this thing would, the, would, would, you know, they understand the life circle of that business. All mm -hmm. they're looking is the bottom line. That's it. Do you understand? So it's difficult. Now you're talking cashless, which is what this whole thing mm -hmm. is all about. They want to take us cashless without putting all the security uh, safe net. For me, why would I want to take all my money, ca uh, what you call it, digital money, when I know for POS, you mentioned, mm -hmm. if I use POS, I don't get value until the next day. Exactly. That's lost for me. Do you understand? There's so many lapses in all of these things that the banks are not telling us. Mm -hmm. So maybe what they should advocate for is consolidating data, working with government to mm -hmm. ensure that the credit system is, you know, is strengthened mm -hmm. so that wherever you are, right, if you default, biscuit, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you can't buy, would get a hold of you mm -hmm. and not rip people off using cheap tactics like yeah. this, which is what, what I think. I'm in favor you of, understand? Why I'm in favor of Uche's and uh, advocacy is really that I feel that the banking sector single-handedly can reform the country. Mm. You know, and, and even it, I think so, because it's where, you know, money is really the, the, the language that everybody <laughs> speaks, whether they yeah. like it or not. Yeah. So the politicians have to heed that language. So yeah. if people can create a system where, because I think, not to, not to be revolutionary too much, but when the MM, MM what's that, MM1? MM. The, MM, 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 MM. MM. People, apparently the, the conspiracy theory is that they were so troubled by it that they had to derail it, because it's almost like a system that could operate outside of the banks, Bank and yeah. the people could be empowered to do their own thing. I don't necessarily subscribe to that, but I, it made me think that if there was such a system that could operate 
independent of politics, independent of governance, then the people could be empowered, you know, really, literally empowered. So if they could find a creative way to get people circulating, we're, we're business people but, but at you, heart, see, I, you know, and if people like Mark Zuckerberg can see that, oh, there are opportunities there here, are opportunities. why can't the bank see those opportunities and cash into it? And the banks are is, seeing the opportunities. Don't forget that uh, um, if, if you look at uh, quarter two inflow, foreign direct investment or foreign inflow into Nigeria, mm -hmm. The biggest was from a bank. Was I think it was Stambik. Okay. You know, so if there are no opportunities, nobody brings money there to, to that kind of thing. And this is a two hundred million people market anyway, mm, exactly. and there's a bride, not just in Africa, even in the yeah, world. Yeah. In spite of our challenges, every day people are seen knocking the door. Of course. Of of this country to come and invest. But the banks yeah. aren't doing enough. At least you like no, no, I, 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 I agree. Serving the customers. Yeah, customer yeah, service is not have, very good. We don't have any real benefits that we get from the banks apart from putting out no for real yeah, as, as, as a business yeah. every time we go to them saying look we need a facility for this they tell us to to practically put up our grandmothers and even when we put up our grandmothers they say no sorry no, we can't. Can, can, can i tell you something that, that is not i just want to qualify with something she said yes. they do sometimes reverse within 24 hours so they never <laughs> never reverse have they ever? i have i have, have oh, okay. they, 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 several they times sometimes uh, immediately several times immediately yeah. Yeah. let's be fair yeah. 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 But, but, do you know do you know the cost of holding that phone for one course. hour of course yeah. just because you're very lucky it's, but, it's, but isn't it's, it's a it's, case of monopoly i think sometimes people are treating you like this because they feel you have no option if suddenly they had a bank that was behaving the way they ought they will give them some i, 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 I want to make money, a comment on, on part of what you I said to, yeah. so that it doesn't go like okay. that the, the mmm bit mm. the mmm bit because there are all variants of it in the system yes, it yes. goes beyond empowering people what kind of empowerment makes you invest in something without security and in uh, one week or in one month you get even if the, the underlying asset is that they are using it to plant heroin it wouldn't return that kind yeah. of so it's a fraud right no, from is, the very beginning is. i'm not trying to you promote know. it okay. yes so. I know. We, we <laughs> thank you for qualifying on, that on you know about this yeah. but here we go we've come to the end of this advocacy for me anyway right resistance can be a potent form of advocacy time to key into your advocacy on our social media platforms. There's certainly a lot of love coming our way this time around. Bridget Miller Taylor says, I'm gonna need you all to dial back that gorgeousness. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> Thank you, Bridget, for that. On what's love got to do with it, Emeka Moma says, bam, tell them truth all. I believe he was encouraging the ladies on the panel to talk sense into the men folk, yeah. <laughs> on Chuka's topic to do with Robert Mugabe's late departure, Austin Ezefedi, I hope I've pronounced your name right, says, Chuka, you bring caustic humor to bear on Mugabe. Please don't forget those Mugabe sayings shared on Facebook. Here's one. An old man that doesn't meditate during conferences will have nothing to say. Mugabe 2016 at Benin City. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms. On Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Bolaha provokes us by tabling matters concerning the state of the nation after the break.